And you guys, listen, don't worry about this court thing. We knew how this was gonna go. We knew they would issue a warrant. We knew that we were gonna take and remove Waldo from the bench. We knew that we're gonna add Kevin Waldo, piece of shit that he is. We were gonna add him to the federal civil rights lawsuit. Once Kevin Waldo is listed as a defendant in my civil rights lawsuit for denying me due process of law, he's then removed from my case legally, which means that his signature on the warrant is no longer valid. So we'll quash that warrant. It's just gonna take a couple weeks. And I'm not in Ohio because we knew that I'd be getting a warrant today. I told you guys last night on my dark talk, I said, I'm not participating. Me walking into a dungeon, not gonna happen. Not doing it, sorry. So you can try to kill me in the dungeon, which lots of people are dying in that dungeon. So today has been pretty interesting. It's been pretty interesting actually. Um, so I, I, I wasn't able to join this, but I got to watch from the sidelines uh, during lunchtime. And Ironton Auditor actually covered this. If you guys get a chance, check out Ironton Auditor. Um, I know some people have hard feelings about auditors, but he's he's a pretty good guy. He doesn't seem to be one of those ones that just harass people, just being dickheads. He doesn't seem to be like that. He seems to be pretty cool. And give him a, give him a shout. He's actually been covering this as well. Um, he knows firsthand how sweet he is. And, um, yeah, I think you guys should give him a shot. Um, and, and I appreciate you, Ironton Otter, for, for, you know, streaming that. It's definitely something we wanted. I do apologize that Sweetie's cult was trolling you the whole time. And we saw all that. That was, that was interesting. We got to see the homophobic comments coming from their mouths, the racism, the threats of violence. It's all coming from Sweetie's brigade. Straight to Ironton Auditor. Now, today was Sweetie's court case. He was supposed to be here today. He supposed to have been here today. In fact, he was supposed to be here, I think it was supposed to have been here last week, but he did a continuance, and they granted him the continuance on that condition that he was to show up today to face his charges. Well, I'm guessing during last night's stream... He did a dark stream. I guess he said, and I, I haven't watched the whole thing. I watched parts of it. And the parts I saw was him talking about where he's going out of state and where he's not going to go to Judge Wallow's kangaroo court. So he didn't show up. You know, a lot of us thought, he, we knew he wasn't going to show up. And some of us thought he was. We thought maybe he would be a man and face his charges. But instead, he decides to be a beta and runs away. Not only does he run away from that, he also runs away from Chad beating his ass in September. Now, he might say that the fight's still on. He's not coming back. He's not coming back to Ironton. He won't be back. Which is a shame because we, we all kind of knew he was going to run away from it. And this is probably one of the reasons why. This is why he didn't show up. He knows he was going to get his ass kicked. And he knows he was probably going to serve some time, possibly. Actually, he might not serve time. He probably got some, you know, fees thrown at him. But he may not have had to serve time. But now, it's almost guaranteed. Now, like I said, I don't know if um, Ironton will pay the fees to go out of state to get him. But I would almost imagine, after I send this video to Judge Waldo, which I... It's what I'm going to do, by the way. I want to send this to Judge Waldo. You can call me a bootlicker all you want, but I'm sending this to Judge Waldo because you're a piece of shit, in my opinion. So anyways, he decided to hop on stream a little over an hour ago for nine minutes. And I'll play parts of the stream here in a moment. He made threats to Judge Waldo. He's threatening a civil lawsuit, class action, I believe. Everybody knows that once a judge is listed as defendant in your case, they cannot preside over your case. This is Constitution 101. This is not difficult stuff. Once we list Waldo and we amend the federal civil rights lawsuit to add him and the Ironton clerks, 
Her name's Elaine. I could use Elaine's last name, everybody. If anybody knows the Ironton clerk named Elaine, she's being listed in the federal civil rights lawsuit as we amend the complaint and refile it to add Kevin Waldo and add Elaine from the from the Ironton Municipal Courthouse. Okay. On him. So he th what he thinks is if he files this civil lawsuit, that Judge Waldo, his charges will not be there anymore. That's what he thinks. Now, he said this is part of Constitution 101. So not only did that happen, he also decided to ask his cult for money, but not ask for money directly. Now, we all know how Sweetie likes his trifolds. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, make sure you guys go by the website, pick up a trifold. Go pick up a trifold, a digital trifold. Go pick up a hard copy trifold. Go get a trifold and put it in your car. Whether you get it for free using free trifold for the $15 version or you buy an indestructible trifold, go get a trifold. I appreciate it. I'm deletelaws.com. I got to get the flock out of here, guys. Love you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. But just remember one thing before I go. We don't stop. Waldo, you're a pig, and I'm not afraid of you one bit. I'm taking you down, Waldo. You're not going to be on my case, and we're going to get enough people to file complaints against you that they're going to have to review what you've done. You're a fraud, Waldo. You're a fraud. You're an embarrassment to the bench. And we actually have a trifold uh, for free if you guys want. If you go to the community, and I, you don't have, I won't have to show you what the community page is. It's okay. It's, I, you guys know. Sweetie had to explain that to his followers because apparently they don't know how to use YouTube. Apparently. But there is a one you can download for free. It is the Sweetie's First Amendment Trifold. You're welcome. Oh yeah, by the way, that's fair use. Um, so, And you can't really prove that that's your mark. So, And by the way, too, by the way, if, if you make any threats to me, Sweetie, of suing me, just remember, you told me you was going to hold me down and fuck my ass. Listen. Hey, 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 hey. What? I would be on top. You would be on top? Yeah. You want oh, to call okay. Me sweetie? Yeah, sweetie. I, 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 would, I would hold you, you down. <laughs> you hear that? Fuck hey, guy, he wants ass. to fuck me in the ass. Yeah, I would. He wants yeah. to fuck me in the ass, guys. I'm, I'm don't, don't being, you know I'm using I'm my... Gay. On camera. While a lot of people was watching, over 5,000 some people watched this. So, don't even try it. I'm sure you don't want sexual harassment added to your number of cases. I mean, he is going to try to sue all of the internet. All of it. But then he's going to run away from it, just like he always does. He just runs away. So he threatens Judge Waldo, and he basically asks for money. From his supporters. He's got balls. I have to say it. He's got some balls. We'll see how this turns out for him. So not only that. I wanted to show you too. Where he made some other threats. To a witness. That he was not supposed to be. Near. And you know he was. Uh, for the most part. He did what he was told. But he gets on stream. Threatens Officer McKnight. We'll, we'll show you that. We'll show you all that. This is this is to revoke my bond. That's what this is. This is to put me in jail, even though they all say that they were called to where I was. They showed up to where I was going, even though I've been made 500 videos. I'm always nonviolent. I've never been in a fist fight. I've never been in any kind of pushing match. When the guy at the auction pushed my car door shut, I got out and filmed him. This is just. This is just ridiculous. Intimid did he say they type an intimidation ordinance? <laughs> oh, God. McKnight, you are such a bitch. You are such a bitch. McKnight, you are such a bitch. McKnight, listen. Listen. McKnight, I'm, I'm not gay, boy, but I would fuck you, McKnight. I would hold, I, I would, I would, McKnight, I would, you know, because you're just such a cute little bottom boy, McKnight. McKnight, I, I'm not gay, but just for you, McKnight, I'd make a special exception. Intimidation. So, I don't understand how you think you're going to get away from this. You might get away for a couple of weeks, and you, you say you're 
this was all a part of the plan and your followers will follow you everywhere you go you you basically appeal to the lowest common denominator and that's how you scam people you give people hope that you can't cash in you leave them with the problems and you run away it seems to be a pretty regular thing you do i'm assuming I've not seen any laws that you've deleted. I've not seen your MMA fights, but you say you have, that you've won. Now, here's a funny thing. Here's a funny thing. In one of your streams, this is when, I believe you was, you was talking to the promoter. You said you've been in hundreds of fist fights. But, you know, you'd never underestimate a man, never, no matter who they are. Uh, you know, I know um, Chad's not classically trained, but that doesn't mean, you know, he can't throw a right and catch me. You know, you, you, oh, yeah. anybody, anything can happen in a fist fight, and I've been in hundreds of them, so. You said this. We can go back and watch this. But, in the video, whenever you're threatening McKnight, you said you've never been in a fist fight. So what is it? Have you or have you not? Have you or have you not? Have you been in a fight? Have you been in hundreds of fights? Or have you not been in hundreds of fights? You you keep on saying these things, but don't make sense. They conflict with each other. I don't know if you realize that. And oh yeah, by the way, um, just in case, you know, you're your unknown person, you're it's either your king simp, or most likely it was you. Said that. <laughs> said some great things. We actually posted a lot of that. That way people could see it. <laughs> the funniest one was where he said, I troll like a five-year-old. This is coming from a guy that probably didn't graduate. Like, ever. Probably didn't make it past fifth grade. But then again, now I know I'm cringy. I know I'm cringy. I know I stutter all over the place. Hey, I do this all over the video. You, you, you can see it. You have plenty of ammunition, man. You're just not really good at trolling. You're not good at disguising yourself, either. You're just, you're just not that clever, man. You're not that clever, and you're not that smart. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And also, sweetie, 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 I hope you have fun and fuck me in the butt prison. Because that's probably what's going to happen. Be your trip to the dungeon. Have fun!